Among the many remnants of the economic boom, perhaps none is as striking as the sight of luxury condominiums. Gleaming glass, bamboo floors, granite counters, and the rooftop gyms, all empty. The market for $800,000 two bedrooms in central Brooklyn ain't what it used to be. Meanwhile, working and middle class people are doubling up, as we heard on the show recently, unable to afford adequate housing in too many numbers. Democratic State Assemblyman Hakeem Jeffries proposes an elegant solution. He wants the vacant luxury condos turned into affordable housing. He represents the Brooklyn neighborhoods of Clinton Hill, Fort Greene, and Flatbush, and he's here in our studio. Assemblyman Jeffries, welcome back to WNYC. Thank you for having me. So I'm sure plenty of your constituents can envision delicious scenes, the beleaguered poor, long subject to landlord harassment who felt their neighborhood shifting beneath them in the past 10 years, staking claim to the palaces of the wealthy who would have pushed them out. Uh, It's Robin Hood stuff, and we're certainly in a populist moment, it seems, around the country. But what are you really proposing? Well, it's a wonderful opportunity that I think has been uh, presented to us uh, in a context of, as you mentioned, you know, working families, middle class folks, senior citizens, really having uh, been gentrified uh, out of their communities uh, in such large numbers, unable to afford, in many uh, cases, the very places that they've ever, only ever called home. Uh, as a result of the abusive uh, landlord practices, the housing market that skyrocketed out of control, uh, and luxury condominium after luxury condominium that was being built, not for them. Uh, but as a result of the collapse of the housing market, what we now have in the communities that I represent in Brooklyn, as well as other parts of New York City, in Harlem and Washington Heights and Williamsburg, uh, are these vacant luxury empty condominiums uh, or luxury rentals where the owners have no hope of being able to move them uh, for the prices that were initially envisioned. Do you have a census? How many units are empty or what defines luxury? Well, we uh, conducted a survey uh, in the communities that I represent, Fort Greene, Clinton Hill, Prospect Heights, parts of Bethesda, stuyvesant and Crown Heights, and there were 66 luxury condominium-type buildings uh, or luxury rental buildings that were either under construction, completed but unoccupied, or completed and only partially occupied. And that's just in one assembly district, and there's 66 in the city of New York. And what happens to those apartments, and what happens to the owners of those developments? Well, essentially, uh, if you're unable to move those units, the landlords or the developers are unable to recoup uh, their investments that were placed in them. Many of them are in risk of foreclosure. Uh, Some will just sit vacant. Uh, for months, if not years, until the market recovers to some degree, though economists don't envision us recovering to the degree that uh, once existed in New York. So would your proposal compensate these landlords or developers in a certain way and open these up, uh, these apartments up as affordable housing? How would that actually work? Well, what we're suggesting is that if you look at the uh, underlying debt of these uh, buildings, If you can find a way to refinance the underlying debt, for instance, to make it less expensive, the mortgages on these buildings, then you can either rent the apartments or you can sell the apartments at amounts that were much less than what was initially envisioned. And the way to do that is if you think about the fact that these banks, whether it's Bank of America or Citibank or Chase, right now are essentially government-owned banks that were bailed out by billions and billions of dollars of taxpayer money. I can think of no better use uh, for these banks circulating our money back into the economy than in helping to lead a revolution for affordable housing. With direct subsidies to renters? Well, uh, refinancing the underlying mortgages to make them uh, uh, less expensive, uh, either through direct subsidies uh, to renters or um, to the landlords or the developers who are then able to rent them or sell them, Uh, at a less expensive rate. And this is really about the struggle for the soul of our city. What kind of city are we going to become? A city where only working uh, wealthy folks or well-income, high-income folks can afford to live, or where working families and middle-class people can continue to make these neighborhoods vibrant? 